In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create tracking URLs in the HubSpot platform. Essentially, tracking URLs are a way to um, track visitors who come to your site, potentially not from a HubSpot hosted or a HubSpot tracked website or even just Medium in general. For example, if it's a page redirect coming from a vanity URL, if it's a an ad in the, a subway or the metro, or if it's you know some sort of other influencer that you're trying to track that you're you know using influencer marketing for, you'll give them a specific tracking URL so that you know that the people coming from influencer A are using this specific tracking URL, and you can associate all of these visitors to that influencer. So to create tracking URLs, I'm going to go to in the master navigation reports analytics tools the bottom we have this tracking URL builder this gives you a list of all of your tracking URLs that you have currently to create a new one top right create tracking URL you want to put in the URL at the very top where it says URL put in the URL that the base URL that you want to track so for example if I want to do you know the direct development homepage you get the direct development homepage copy it I'm gonna paste it there Make sure it's HTTPS, because that's what we use by all default for all HubSpot pages. Now I need to choose a campaign for this tracking URL. A tracking URL has to have a campaign associated with it. You cannot create a tracking URL without a campaign. So in this case, I'm just going to choose my test campaign that I made. Um, the source, I'm going to choose other campaigns because it's not really going to be in use in email or paid social, social or paid social. It's going to be used in some other platform, potentially maybe a, um, a Metro ad, for example. Source, I'm going to say it's going to be some sort of, you know, what would I call this? Physical. Actually, I'd say Metro ad. And the medium is optional. You can, UTM term and content are mostly for uh, paid, but basically medium term and content are all optional at this point. But if you wanted to specify something a little more specific, so it would be something like, I mean, it, it can be whatever you want it to be. Um, It'd be something like actually let's change source to be we can we can change it to add and then the UTM medium will be metro something like that it's not a specific science you're not gonna misassociate things if you don't do one thing or the other this is really just to help you in the end segment this traffic later so you have a lot of freedom in, in what you can do um, I'm going to create that URL. That URL is now right here. It'll it's associated again with my test campaign. I'm going to copy this tracking URL right here. So if you go to actions, I'm going to copy a tracking URL. Normally, I like to copy the full tracking URL. You can copy the shortened URL if you are bound by a specific character limit. But in most cases, I like to use the whole tracking URL. So for example, if I put this into my browser, this is what it would look like: directdevelopment.com. UTM campaign, my test campaign, ignore the percentage 20 signs, that's just, you know, an encoding practice where a space is then converted to a percentage 20 sign. The source is an ad, and the medium is a metro. So that is that is the tracking URL. So anytime somebody enters this URL into their browser, wherever it's being used, that session that they create is going to be associated with my test campaign. The thing about tracking URLs is they won't, their data won't appear in the campaign until one session has been recorded. So, you know, in cases where it's like, hey, I'm on my campaign, but, you know, there's no tracking URL here. What's wrong? Did I set it up wrong? No, it just won't appear until one session has been recorded. So don't, don't think that you did something wrong if it's not appearing in your campaign yet. Um, just know that as soon as the traffic starts rolling in, that's when the data will start appearing in your campaign.